Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at some of the new features that are available in 6.6.0. So let's have a look now. This is an app we've been working on called T-Bugs, and the idea is that you try and uh, get these bugs to meet one another along a path and they want to eat the sugar so you use these Bezier curves. This is the new Zim squiggle right here and we'll talk more about that in upcoming uh, bubbling. Um, so here we'll play this and off they go. Well, it's prototyping right now. I don't think we'll see the path line in the in the real version. And oh, there. Now, what I wanted to show you is that we can make a new path here. Um, let's do that. We've got some features in the buttons now. So if we don't change anything and we hit done, it just goes back to where it was. But if we make a change, for instance, put a cup on here or uh, change the path um, here, and now we hit done, it gives us a warning and uh, says exit. So this is called a wait state on a button now. And um, it has two primary uses, I suppose. One is a warning like this, and the other is if we're waiting for something to load and um, or for you to see a message so hopefully what we're doing here is introducing um, kind of a quicker system to loading up a confirmation panel like we could have pressed this and loaded up a, a pane right here that says you haven't made um, you haven't saved your changes uh, do you want to continue to exit or do you want to cancel kind of thing you know um, and putting those panes are all right but um, perhaps when it doesn't really matter too too much uh, we could do it right on a button so I'll show you another example now in this case if you um, go ahead and click exit now it, it just goes off and and you've lost your save or you've lost your changes um, Otherwise, you would wait. Okay, let's see another example. So when we hit this, this would test the puzzle. It's not quite done yet, but this would test the puzzle. And if the puzzle is successful, like you've made a puzzle that is complete, then it will come up and offer you a chance to save this. Um, now watch what happens when we hit save. Did you see that? It changed to done. And then after a little bit, it leaves. So that's sort of like a confirmation. Hey, uh, that that has been saved and now we come to a different screen here the export screen uh, now that it's saved if we if we go and test it again it's been saved we have a chance to delete it so can you guess what the delete will do we hit delete and it pulls up a confirm message and which goes away after a bit so if, if you don't confirm soon enough it's not going to confirm. So now we confirm, and that's been deleted. Oh darn, we deleted our our uh, file. So let's go into the code and see how that can be done, those types of things. Here we are in the T-Bugs in 6.6.0. So this will go live on the CDN and on CloudFront in a bit. And in here, we're bringing in a bunch of vectors. We, uh, well, we've got some things to show you there, how to bring in vectors from Adobe. Uh, we've made a new uh, vector container class template, uh, but we'll show you that in an upcoming bubbling. We've got a model view and controller that we're bringing in. And just down in here, um, this is quite nice. We've now sort of form formulated a Zim model view controller format here you make the model and uh, you'll uh, this is the callback function for the model and here's the data that gets sent back from the model and then you make the view passing in that data and here's the callback function for the view and you receive 
a view object and then you make the controller with that data object and the view object. So nice and tidy seems to work quite well. All right, so if we go into the uh, view here, this is where the buttons are made. Here's the done button. So the done button is, let's just pop back here. The done button is right here. So if there's been no changes, then just done will act normally. But if we do make a change, then done will provide this exit. Okay, so let's concentrate on that one then. So here's the done button. It has a label that is done and that's uh, made with a label so that we get a gray color there and a white color on rollover. Um, so custom label is put in there. And then here's the wait label exit. So what will happen is when this is pressed the first time, exit will appear. And exit will appear for the wait time. So 4,000 seconds. Or <laughs> 4,000 seconds. Uh, whatever that is. For, for, four seconds. All right. So we'll have a chance to exit for four seconds. And once that four seconds is up, the exit will go away and the button will return back to the normal button. We also have colors for the things. Uh, the weight color, the roll weight color, both are red, but you could roll over that with a purple or something. Uh, the weight color text, <laughs> the roll weight color. I, I didn't want to put that in, but I actually needed it because gray on the red didn't look nice and it's sort of like, oh crap. So, um, you know, a little bit of extra work, but you've also got text color changes there as well. So that's that button, and let's see how it, it gets put into place, and that's over on the controller. So here's the vdone.onMouseDown. So if the vdone, v is our view, so the view done, if the view done button is not waiting, so the not sign, if we're not waiting, that means it's a first click, like we're not waiting yet. So the, on the first click, we're not waiting. And once the waiting period um, runs out, we're also not waiting. But after the first click, we are waiting. So um, if we're not waiting, so this is the first click on the done button. And if we're not saved, if we haven't saved the information, then we're going to play that warning sound and return. We don't do what the button usually does. So the button will be turned to a red state, a red exit state, and we're going to be playing this sound if we haven't saved. If we have saved, it just passes on through this. Or if we're if we're in the waiting state, so if this is the second time we're pressing on the button and, and it hasn't expired yet, we're in that waiting state, it says red exit, and we press on it again, it just passes right through as well and does what the button would have usually done. So that gives us a confirmation type state and that's used both on the delete and on this done because if you if you say done you haven't saved the changes that's you know you've lost those changes. All right let's go take a look at the other one. The other one was I think in a save so this is the done, and then here's the save tabs. So this works on tabs as well, so you can pass this type of information through on tabs. And the tabs, we've got both a done, and no, sorry, a save and a delete. Save and delete show up. And then the waiting, or the wait, is a done, and the wait on the delete is a confirm. We give it times again. In this case, we've just set a second, uh, maybe it could go to two seconds, but that's just enough to say, hey, that um, uh, that that's been done, you know, it's, it's saved and done. Maybe, uh, we're, you know, you run out of space on buttons a little bit. Um, possibly I could have changed that to save, but, you know, a save button and then you press it and it says saved. Maybe they wouldn't notice that. But anyway, I've said done, it's fine. Um, at that time as well, uh, you can play a sound. Now, you can also pop up a message. I mean, you, uh, you're welcome to put multiple um, indications of things happening. But anyway, we thought for the seriousness of this game uh, that that would probably be fine. Now, on the confirm, uh, we've, we've waited longer to let them have some time to press that button again. And then if they haven't pressed it in 4,000 seconds, 
or 4,000 milliseconds, we just go back to the normal delete. So isn't that neat? Um, that's called the wait on the button. So you can have a look at that uh, in the docs uh, for a button and for tabs. And I guess it probably works on pads as well. I haven't uh, I suppose I should probably <laughs> check pads, come to think of it. Uh, let's see, you're on a pad. Yeah, you might want that on a pad as well, and that can just flow through. So we'll adjust the pad as well. So that's one of the things bubbling here at Zim. We're going to take a look in future bubblings, uh, take a look at that vector container, as well as the new squiggle. And I think there might even be a couple more things to, to look at as well. Have a great day. Ciao.